Hey you guys, Multicost Gamer here. Welcome back to more Banjo Tooie. I'm very sleepy right now, so I apologize if I fall asleep in the middle of recording this episode. I'm pretty sure it won't happen. <laughs> okay. So, how you guys been? Today is June 28th as I'm recording this. Yeah, Wednesday, June 28th. Anyways, I have a plan for this episode. We we're supposed to, we're going to be uh, going to Chiki Wee's temple. We're going to be completing uh, the puzzle for the next world, but I just wanted to uh, take care of a few things before doing so. Um, we don't have anything we can do in Sprout Mountain right now, is there? I thought there was for some reason. Because I thought there was something I could do with the grip grab here, but I think I need, like... Wait, yeah, I, what? No? Uh, actually, yeah, yes, there is one thing I can do. There's one thing I can do here in Spire Mountain, and I just made this entire circle around the mountain for no reason, so I'm going to fix that by doing something productive on the next uh, run around the mountain. By this time, deviating from said circle and climbing up this ladder to Grunty's uh, lair. <laughs> Jeez. The reason why I'm very sleep deprived is because I've been awake since 9 a.m. Um, yesterday morning. So for 24 hours now, I've been awake with, unless you count the obvious occasional, um, you know, micro sleep episodes, as they call them, where you're drifting in and out of consciousness, and it's not very pleasant, especially if you happen to be driving when that happens. Oh boy, I scared myself quite a few times in the process. And the reason why I'm not going to bed yet is because it's not noon quite yet. I have work tonight, but it's not noon yet, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to record something. Okay, so anyways, inside this cave here, there's a grip grab ledge, and behind this waterfall is a tunnel. And it leads to a cell that we didn't exactly get a good look at. That looks like a Banjo-Kazooie game pack. I wonder what's inside. Nah, that can't be me. That's not a Banjo-Kazooie game pack. The artwork is not there. It just says BK on it. This looks more like a Burger King game pack, if you ask me. What could it be? Whoa, it's Banjo-Kazooie's mysterious blue egg, secret egg. I wonder what's inside. Gee, I don't know. I have no clue whatsoever. Actually, I do have an idea. And we can remedy the situation by visiting a certain somebody in uh, Hollow, Wooded Hollow, actually, which is the same area where Jiggy Wiki is, so we're going to remedy that situation now. Well, actually, there is one other thing we can get that will not be a use to us for a little bit, but uh, still something that's very, very, very interesting. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to go through... Yeah, we're just going to go back into Isle of Hags. Oh, seriously, dude? You have to take the hit going in? Seriously, dude? Seriously? Dude. Dude, seriously, knock it off. Okay, so I'll meet you guys back at... Well, well, we got the silo right here. We don't need to... Uh, you know, actually, no. There's one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Oh my god, I'm being turned around. This is like, this is like Zelda Breath of the Wild right here, folks. This is what it's going to be like when I LP Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's going to be like... I, I'm not going to be able to stay focused on one thing at all. I'm just going to keep on getting deviated off of the path. And then, next thing you know, I... 20 minutes later, maybe I'm actually doing the thing that I intended to do in the beginning of the episode. I don't know. This is just like a sneak peek of it, I guess, if you guys would call it that. Okay, so anyways, inside here is something very, very, very interesting, actually. Um, there is another game pack in here, but this is no ordinary game pack. The secret that's inside here. Take a look. Look at that. Yes, sir. It's the fabled Banjo Kazooie Ice Key. I wonder what it opens. I have no idea, but maybe, just maybe, we're going to be finding that out in this game. Yeah, maybe we will, maybe we won't. Who knows? We'll see. Anyways, uh, I think that's all we can do with our new moves. And wow, frame rate drop, jeez. So, I guess I should talk about that real quick. Um, one of the issues that this game has is frame rate drops. That's one of the few issues people complain about with this game. And obviously that situation was remedied in the Xbox version, which I am not playing. I am obviously playing the N64 version. 
So, expect to see that on occasion in this Let's Play, and there are certain areas where it's more prominent than others. Case in point, World 7, which we will see much later on. Um, but in the meantime, we're just gonna head, uh, actually, you know what, there's a shortcut to it right there. That entrance right over there will actually lead straight to the Wood Hall, if I'm not mistaken, I think. I'm pretty sure it does. I can't imagine leading it anywhere else. Besides, wait, what? I can't grab onto? I thought I could. I have, but... Yeah, I thought so. Jeez. I thought you could get up to it from the front, but I guess not. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Jeez, my name, we might not even be starting the next world in this video. Well, that would just stink, wouldn't it? Okay, so anyways, uh, before we go to Jigui's temple, we're going to find out what's up with the with that key. Well, we're not going to find out what's up with the ice key, but we will find out what's up with that blue, blue egg. So head down here from Wooded Hollow. And here, you will see a giant egg. What could this possibly be for? Let's find out. Who could possibly live here? It's Eggie's H egg shed. Look! Eggie the fan! Look! My special egg! Look! Got an Eggie special egg! That's right. It's really special. Look! Throw it nest! Okay. Wait, there's already an egg up there. What's that? That's the, the yellow secret egg's already up there. Look! Watch Eggie hatch! Okay. This is interesting. We're actually gonna find out what these eggs are for after all these years. Two years later, we're gonna find out what these eggs are for that we collected for no reason in the game. Fuck! Special Haggy Egg Award! Homing eggs! Fuck! Very nice! Fuck! Go to Chio Code Room and enter homing to enable feature! Oh, really? Interesting. All right, well, I guess we'll have to go check that out. So I'll meet you guys at the code room in Mayhem Temple. And here we are. It's our first time using the code chamber, actually, so, but it's very simple. You must spell out the cheat code I have given you. Use the control stick to move the aiming sight and press Z to fire. Aim carefully, though. If you hit a wrong letter, you'll have to start again. Except that was a lie. You did not give us this first cheat code, sir. Cheeto is a freaking liar. Okay. So you basically you want to type in homing. This can be kind of kind of annoying. It's more annoying than the than the co chamber and banjo kazooie was, because you have to be precise with the with the aiming with the the eggs here. Very self-explanatory stuff, though, other than that. Nice shooting. Now step across the cheat sheet on the wall over there and press B to view your new cheat. The homing sheet will make eggs home in on baddies. Pretty obvious, but hey, it's a nice feature to have. And we're going to have that going to the second world, which is pretty awesome. So basically, you go here, you go to your menu, and now you can enable the cheats that you have entered. There we go. As you can see, it had a 12 next to it. That means that's the 12 cheese out of, I think, 15 or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, meet you guys back outside. Okay, now that we're back out here in the wooded hollow, I believe that's all we can do now. So let's go ahead and enter Jiggy Wiggy's temple. Because we have stuff to do in there. Yes, indeed, stuff to do. Okay, here we are. <laughs> oh my god, I am so sorry about this, everyone. I'm sorry for subjecting you to my sleep-deprived deprived self. And it's gonna be like this for the next several episodes, I can assure you. So anyways, here we are, challenge number two. Let's open up world two. Looks kinda interesting already, doesn't it? Wow, dude, seriously? Come on, dude, I'm pretty sure even in your sleep-deprived state, you could complete these pathetically easy puzzles. Yeah, it's very simple. Very simple indeed. God, these are so easy, man. I can't believe it's taking me this long to complete it. 21 seconds, man. That's terrible. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 2. 
So now the great one will show you the way. Yay! Well, the guy in that puzzle sure looks pretty depressed. I wonder why. Although that second part, the second individual in that picture looked kind of familiar. So I wonder if there's a connection going on there. Interesting. Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy. Yeah, I'm going to repeat this six more times. No, make that eight more times. Oh, man. There's eight worlds total, but there's actually ten puzzles that are mandatory for completing the game. You are indeed the chosen one. You also have enough Jiggies to attempt cha Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 3. So yes, we have enough Jiggies to, to open up World 3 as well, so let's go ahead and do it. While we're here, might as well, why not? Let's, I'm feeling productive today, so let's be productive, jeez. Okay. Let's see if I can do this without messing up once. It'd be, I, it'd be cool if I could complete like one puzzle without messing up once. Well, obviously, well, the corner pieces are pretty obvious. Let's do those first, you know? That's what any person would would do, you know, logically in any puzzle, is to go for the side end pieces. Because those are a lot more easier to narrow down. Okay. Okay. That's what I get for trying to be, like, extremely accurate. I'm a multi-class gamer and I completed a pathetically easy puzzle without missing one. By that I mean like getting one wrong. Now I mean, oh, the great one will show you the way to third world problems. I'm just kidding. <sighs> no one needs to know anything about third world problems, Tiki Wiki, but you know what? You're gonna send us out to world three anyways to solve them. That's what I thought. Power of the mighty text that repeats over and over and over again. Although Jiggy Wiggy is not the only culprit of this, you know, this trait throughout the game, there's also you'll find Mumbo and Wumba, Humbo Wumbo will also be guilty of saying the exact same things over and over again too. So there's our world three right there, Witchy World. Interesting, but we won't talk about that until we actually go there. You do not have enough jiggies to attempt challenge for. I guess you suck and are not capable of beating this game. Okay, so we're only three jiggies short, but we could have done built fur puzzle. And Dorkles is behind you, of course. Horsh. Yeah, I'm feeling really sleepy right now. I, it, I'm just really glad I'm finally gonna get it back in order. Uh, Altar of Knowledge, press B to view the Mighty One's Wisdom, okay? I think it just tells you how many Jiggies you need to complete the world or something, I think, or open up the world, I think. Anyway, so to move on in Isle of Hags, you need to uh, um, go across this uh, grip grab ledge here. And then go through this entrance over here. And that will like progress further on in the overworld. So there you go. Of course, once you find the silo, you won't ever have to do that again. Okay. Whoa, glitter gold shrine, eh? Huh, interesting. Anyways, here's the silo. This is all to take us to the plateau. Um, now as you can see, or as you can hear, more like you can hear a Jinjo is calling out for help, but we can't get to that Jinjo quite yet because it's stuck under that boulder. But what we can do is get our next move. Now it's the time for you to learn shooting eggs that crackle and burn. Oh really? There we go, fire eggs. A brand new egg you have acquired. Now I'll tell you how they're fired. Tap R to get your eggs on view. Tap it again until it's right for you. I'll be all. Smashed. 
Oh! <laughs> oh Okay, yeah, that happens occasionally whenever he... Yeah, you, you saw it, so I don't need to explain. Basically, it happens, like, very rarely. It's, and it's hilarious whenever it does. So, yes, fire eggs. Basically, they do, they do uh, twice as much damage, I believe, when you hit enemies with it. And you have a limited supply of it, just like with blue eggs. And basically, um, whenever you find eggs from now on, it's going to alternate between blue eggs and fire eggs. So, under the, underneath this beehive here, which is very important also... We have some nerves, nerves to get, I think. Do we? I thought there was, oh, actually right behind this one is an extra honeycomb piece, which is prudent for what is to be had inside of here. Let's go check it out before we end all this episode. Honeybee's hive. You're not affiliated with the Zubbas, are you? Hi there, Big Bear. I'm Honey Bee, Mistress of the Honey. Ah, why couldn't you be Mistress of the Jiggies instead? Because that would make your quest too easy. However, I can grant you extra energy units in return for empty honeycombs. I suppose that's better than nothing. Don't be so rude, Kazooie. Oh, sorry, Wasp Lady. I'm a honeybee. A bee, not a wasp. Right you are, hornet girl. You have enough energy. Honeycombs for two more units of energy? Okay. Do you want to trade? Heck no. I'm kidding. Sure, honey. <laughs> Toss your honeycombs over here then, big bear. <laughs> oh my god. Here's your extra energy. That our energy has been permanently increased by two. Why couldn't she throw in a heart container while she was at it? Really could have used one. Really, really, really could have used one. Okay, so now that we're back out here in the plateau, we're going to end things off here. So next time on Banjo Tooie, we're going to enter World Two. Actually, you know what? We are going to go take care of one, a uh, couple more things real quick. Uh, They're close to World Three first, but then we'll enter World Two. We're not going to enter World Three. We're just going to take care of a few things there, and uh, then we will be on our way. So see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.